before we get started with this video, I now sell merchandise. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt or a mug, I have a link to my store in the description. I really appreciate anybody that purchases any one of my products. All right, guys, it's your boy Jermaine from Shoveling Those Hogs back with another video. And I have just want to do an update on the 2024 breeding year. And uh, I actually have a hog nose that's in pre-lay shed. So this is my 100% het leucistic. As you can see, she's always mad. Let me move her this out of the way. And like I said, she's in shed. As you can see, starting to uh, dull out underneath her. And she's full of eggs. You can see her lower third, how thick it is. She does have some calcium. But you can see from the top and then the lower third, it gets really thick. So those are all eggs right there. So she'll be laying in maybe two, two and a half weeks. And I saw a visual lock. She's the one that's paired to the Super Arctic 66% head leucistic. So we can prove him out. So hopefully she lays me some good eggs. I'll show you another one who's gravid. It's this big girl. She's not in, let me not get bit. But this is the granite jungle. Let me switch over. She's looking for food even though I fed her yesterday. But just look how thick she is. See a lot of scale separation. She's not in her pre-lay shed. But I can de definitely tell that, um, you can see the scale separation right here, that she is full of eggs. She usually lays for me like 15 eggs on the first clutch. Haven't really had a successful second clutch with her. Um, the first year she reabsorbed uh, her second clutch. And then last year she laid one good egg, which was the striped one. And she laid um, a slug and then got egg bound. So... I always do do best with the first go around with her. So maybe this year she'll give me a good second clutch. But you can see how thick she is, the scale separation. I know she's developing eggs and she'll have some eggs on the ground in April. But then we have this one right here. So she's actually gained a lot of weight. I wasn't expecting to breed her this year. I did not roommate her or her mate. Um... She's getting thick. Uh, I don't think she she hasn't ovulated yet, but her appetite is crazy. As you can see, I fed her yesterday. She's looking for food. Uh, she may lay eggs. She may not. Like I said, I didn't brumate her. This would be her first year breeding. I didn't brumate the male either. So even if she lays eggs, they may be all infertile, but we'll see. And then this is this one right here is kind of the... I don't know. So this is my Lemon Ghost Woma. And I've been pairing her with my Mai Tai. I've never seen a visual lock, but every time I put them in there together, there she's wagging her tail. He's chasing her around. But like I said, I've never seen a visual lock. And she's obviously not pregnant. Like she's still skinny on her lower third. So I don't know. I'm still pairing them on and off, I'm still feeding her up. She doesn't have that crazy appetite like she's building eggs. Um, so I don't know, man. I'm just going to keep pairing them um, and keep feeding her. And hopefully we can hope for the best. And that's about it for the update. That's probably <laughs> if I'm lucky, I may have four snakes for females late for me this year um I, I can also show you this girl right here this is the exanthic anaconda head albino who paired with my super arctic super anaconda but she has yet to eat for me since being out of brumation i i really don't know what to do i just i keep offering her every four days with the others i've tried unscented i've tried tuna sardine salmon Repti links, I always leave the mouse in her enclosure if she doesn't take it from the tongs. But she is just not interested in food. So, and which is kind of strange because I thought with her locking that she would be. But yeah, that's about it uh, for the video. But 
like I said, I'm pretty excited about uh, having eggs in a couple weeks, um, especially um, when one of the eggs could be a leucistic arctic. Peace out. I'll see y'all for the next And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.